It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the New England Patriots and the New York Jets, and it's all up next on EA Sports. On a warm late summer afternoon, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Jets. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But Charles, it's an exciting time to be a Jets fan. This is a franchise that hasn't had a lot to get behind in recent years, but now they have their superstar in number eight, Aaron Rodgers. And they felt like they were a quarterback away from being a playoff team the year before. And now they've got one of the best ones that we've seen. His ability to give them confidence, distribute the ball to all the playmakers, and just give them an identity, that's what they're banking on. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Jones going to keep it on the draw. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He lost two there. And it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Throwing Jones. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Quincy Williams worked his way back for that sack. But defensively, you really can't script the start much better. You get a three and out and a sack. Yeah, you're exactly right about that. They kept him short of a first down on first and second down. And then on third down, they pick up a sack. What tremendous momentum for them to start this game. The Patriots send out their punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Here's Hardman to return. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And the Jets will have a short field to work with as they take over first and 10. But the new-look Jets ready to go on offense, and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. After years of flirting with the idea, the four-time MVP finally found his way out of Green Bay this offseason, guiding himself to the Jets. We know he's already a Hall of Fame lock, but this... This is a chance to add one more crowning achievement to his resume. Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Brees Hall. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 41, here's second and five. 
Now it's Rodgers. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. Still on his feet. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Nicole Hardman, 41 yards. And the Jets will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And able to get this out to the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Jones. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as the tackle going to be made up at the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Inside give to Elliott. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Here's Jones to throw on second down. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 26. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Throwing again on second down. Jones finding board here over the middle. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. The 
They'll look to throw again. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Patriots are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Nick Folk for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Rodgers now to throw. That's caught left side by Hardman. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and the Patriots take over. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. well they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown, but incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. 
Jones now to throw on third down. Out route, and this is Henry with a catch. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 7-7, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Again he'll drop to throw. Short pass caught by Henry. Five yards, now it's third and five. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Now Rodgers. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10.
Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. From the 31, here's second and a couple. Looking to throw. Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he goes out right around the 39. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. On the counter, Elliott. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the gun on third down, Jones. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the air and pass. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to break of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lock one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to pump the football. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Rodgers. Finding Hardman here over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. 
That will throw downfield. He's taken in by his running back. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Back to throw. Jones over the middle. He's got Gesicki, the big 6-5 tight end. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. touchdown an 11-yard touchdown and the Patriots will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half and that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point what a great way to end the half yeah great job to put themselves in front and now see on the sideline special teams defense scrambling saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Five yards remain on second down. Throwing now is Rodgers. And it's caught over the middle. Wilson. So five yards here, five on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Rodgers now on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout 
And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The Patriots going with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. So at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. touchdown ball game 14-7 our scores we get back at it on EA Sports Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter well Charles we saw a pretty entertaining first half close ball game remember there toward the end of the second quarter the opposition scored to take the lead now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Ball at the 26, second and seven. Throwing is Rodgers. Finds Lazard quickly on the slam. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. Rodgers now on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. At this point in the game and the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On play action, it's Rodgers. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete and we just saw another example these cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long might start wanting to think about a few double triple move routes to try and shake their guys free yes, they have you're right they have had no room to breathe now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions and again it's Rodgers open that here is Conklin and to the 46 he goes and no further so he is well short of the first down marker they'll give him four yards there and that's going to make it fourth down excellent job there defensively gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down and they made sure that they did their job got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 that will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. 
So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the drive with Elliott. Oh, what a move. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 33, here's second down at a yard. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. Up the middle, here's Hallian. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. 52 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Now Jones. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as a tackle made at the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. Tenth carry now for Allian. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Throwing Jones. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 18. 14 yards through the air, caught the D off guard on third and one. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? It should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Making the play defensively, Carl Lawson. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. Jones. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. Now Jones on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation.
Now a play fake here on first down. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. It's a loss of four, and now it's second and goal. The first and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Jones going to throw on third and goal. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So here's Nick Folk in an important spot. This to make it a two-score game. And Folk's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Another go around now for the Jets offense. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Across the formation, Hardman gets a completion. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first down, Rodgers looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Rodgers. Taken in left side, it's Wilson. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Rodgers to throw once more. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Rodgers got to have this one. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Here's Jones throwing on first down. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. And that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ty Montgomery taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, C.D., and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the math there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Corey Davis, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds, too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes, but now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Now Rodgers. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. 
when a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Rodgers to throw for it on four. And he is going to have a Jets first down. Well, they take a chance there on fourth and one, but it's a gain of three and a new set of downs. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Rodgers throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there, and for the offense, they're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. From midfield, here's Rodgers. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Wave's going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. Give to Elliott. Down to the 42, second down. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They go to Elliott again, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's going to be about a yard or two short of the first here. He needed the 35, but didn't make it. A good gain there on third and eight of seven yards. And now a decision here on fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do.